we got an issue with getting the right items for the orders that were made. And here is a list of the items that we have. Red cable, black cable, amp I, amp J. We've got a base that's the Kenna model, a base that's the Jane model, a tuner that's a G. We've got strings X and strings XX. So we're dealing with uh, bassists, musicians, and they will go online, order stuff, and then somebody has to go get the stuff. Say, okay, so if there was 10 red cables ordered, they go get 10 red cables. If three amp eyes were ordered, then they go someplace else and go get all of those amps. Okay, sounds great. All right, so let's look at the orders. All right, one black cable. We've got an at two amp G's ordered. We've got two of stand number four. Okay, this seems like an easy pivot table. But there's a problem. This advanced bundle, this one advanced bundle. Oh man. So this creates fits for the person who has to go collect all this stuff. All right, so in the advanced bundle, there is one blue cable, one Kenner model base, one of stand number three, two X strings, one tuner G. So the person has to realize, okay, advanced bundle, this stuff has to be acquired in addition to, say, the number of blue cables. So let's look, let's filter for blue cables. Okay. Right now, there are six blue cables ordered, but that says nothing about the advanced bundle and there's a beginner bundle which has one blue cable one nina model base one of stand number two and one of tuner g let's filter for that advanced bundle blue cable beginner bundle okay so really, we need 16 blue cables, given that each of the bundles needs one blue cable, and we had the six blue cables ordered as well. And that's not so much a problem, until you say you've got two of string X. Now what if you said you had three string X? are two blue model cables, it, 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 this can get nuts. So this is the kind of issue where you can see the math is not so difficult. You just need to know, you need 16 cables, that's all. You don't wanna go get 14 blue cables, gotta go back and get two more, or go get 20. Now I've gotta go put back four. No, you want to get this right. So this becomes a layout situation. Layout is going to be key, and you got to think about this the right way. So here, I have my pick list. This list has all of the items except for the beginner bundle and the advanced bundle. We just want to know the actual items. I use what's called helper columns so that we can see what's being added up. In this quantity column, the data is in a table, everything is in a table, and I'm using some ifs to pull the data. So this 
some ifs in this column, it's saying go to the orders table and sum what's in the quantity column where in the orders table, the stock item matches the item in this table. So there we have the item. Okay, now let's go to the orders table. Okay, so we've got the quantity, we've got the stock. All right, so our, so our formula is going to match up stock and item and give a summary of the orders. So it says five red cables. But let's look. Let's, let's go with the blue. All right, so we saw that we needed the six blue cables. Now this column is saying sum in the beginner table the total where the item in the beginner table matches the item in this table. Okay, so this is the beginner table. And I will show you that. That's the beginner table. And see where cable red matches. And see, here's, here's an issue, and this is important about layout. There is no cable red in the beginner package. See? But for the sake of keeping the data all in one place, we're okay with the zero. We can live with the zero, but where there's the blue cable, we can see that in the beginner bundle, we need one blue cable, and we have a calculation here that is saying sum ifs, the orders, quantity, in the orders table, basically count how many beginner bundles they are and we have two we have eight advanced bundles so if we go to this cell we see that we're multiplying the number of beginner bundles times the number of cables that need to be in each bundle two beginner bundles, one blue cable, we need two blue cables. Now let's look down here. Same thing applies. We're saying there are eight advanced bundles. Each advanced bundle gets two packs of strings X. So that means we need 16 string X's for the orders associated with the advanced bundle. So there's a lot tied together here. So I have a column for the beginner bundle and the advanced bundle. And then the total column is just doing a sum. So let's look. For the blue cable, we need six that were ordered by themselves, two beginner bundles, which means we need two cables, two blue cables. There were eight advanced bundles ordered. So there are eight more cables needed for the 16. And if we go down and look at strings X, there were 40 ordered on their own. There's a zero in the beginner column because there is no string X in the beginner package. But we do have 16 that we need 
because we've got eight that eight bundles that were ordered and they get two packs each for 16 sets of strings so whomever has to go pack up all this stuff they need to go get 57 packs of strings x so it's a bit of a mind twister to figure out how to go from here are all the new orders and then convert that into a pick list and the idea being I could have made some kind of formula there are a lot of ways this could have been solved and that's the exciting thing about Excel and this is my way of figuring this out by setting up basically a lookup range I set up two lookup ranges here one for the beginner one for the advanced and have Excel figure this out for me in these columns by laying this out this way we can do some things with this we can modify this fairly easily okay so here are some new orders oh there's a leather case wow all right so what we have to do over here because the data is all in tables here is what we do we say leather case oh three leather cases were ordered let's check Yep, somebody ordered two and somebody ordered one. Great. So now, what if we say, let's add a leather case to the advanced bundle. All right. And we need one. Oh, okay. So there were seven advanced bundles ordered. So we need seven cases in addition to the three that were ordered already. So yes, this says 10 leather cases. Somebody has to go walk to the other end of the warehouse and go get that stuff and be confident that he's got exactly what he needs. He's not going to have to go back and get more, and he won't have too many and have to go put some back. So hopefully this helps you understand how you can use helper columns and think about layout. One instinct would be to try to write formulas or to break this out into different sections and manually add this up, but no, 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 uh-uh. If you lay this out properly and give it some thought, then you can build something like this. So this video is related to my previous video where I discussed spreadsheet layout. This is an example of Simple math, but how you lay the data out is the trick. That's the total trick of it all. All right. Keep your data clean.